buongiorno. Just kidding, I can't speak Italian. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been very busy over here lately. I just got back from summer vacation. I was in France and then we took a little road trip to Venice, Italy, which was a lot of fun. We basically just rented a car and then drove from where my grandparents live to Italy and our first stop was actually Chamonix, which is in France, but it's right on the border of Switzerland and Italy. Unfortunately, when we got there, we had some pretty bad weather that first day. As you can see, it's pretty foggy. It was actually really cold as well. It was basically winter in August, but on a clear day, you can see the Alps surrounding you because the village is right in the valley. But we still had fun. We had Franco-American friends from our state staying with their grandmother in Chamonix, so we got to meet up with them and have dinner. And that was a lot of fun. We had fondue, which was my first time having fondue. And oh my goodness, it is just delicious. It was unlike anything I'd ever tried before. As you can see, we're kind of struggling because it's really stringy, but oh gosh, we ate so well. <laughs> Then the next morning, we had really good luck with the weather. We took some little gondolas up to some hiking trails. And as you can see, it's just magnificent up there. It's almost supernatural. And the views are just amazing. We even found some paragliders and we went up to the spot where they are taking off. And it was really interesting to see. They're basically just running off a cliff and jumping. <laughs> So we did a short hike up to the Col du Brevent, and in altitude I believe that's about 8,000 feet. And it was really windy up there, but the views were worth it. We even found some snow and some wildlife. And we could also see a lot of glaciers. This one in particular I had visited nine years ago, and the glacier at the time reached all the way down to the visitor center, which is in the lower right, so you can just see how much climate change took a toll on it. So then we left our friends and we went into the Mont Blanc Tunnel, which basically you're in France when you go in, and then when you come out you are in Italy, and right away the radio stations all change into Italian. <laughs> First stop in Italy was this little town called Aosta, and it's very famous for its Roman ruins, notably this theater ruin, and it's quite incredible. Then we continued to Lake Como, which kind of looks like the Caribbean, but it's this beautiful destination. Uh, and George Clooney actually has a house there. We stayed in this beautiful little bed and breakfast where we had a great view of the lake and of George Clooney's house. And then a few days later, we took the ferry to the other side of the lake where the highway was to go to Venice. And I know it sounds cheesy, but this place is just so magical. It's so unique. It's unlike anything I had ever seen before. Absolutely beautiful. We visited a lot of churches in Venice. There are a ton over there. And they're all kind of built at around, I want to say the 15th century, but then they get rebuilt in the 18th century. So they're all roughly about the same age. This one is the Santa Maria della Salute, which was built in commemoration of the end of the plague that struck Venice in 1630. This is what it looks like at sunset. We visited lots of cute little squares, gondoliers, that cost 80 euros. And our hotel, we were staying in a palazzo, which was built in the 16th century, it was pretty cool. It was just a lot of fun just walking through Venice, because you walk everywhere, so. This is the famous Rialto Bridge at six in the morning. My parents took, uh, <laughs> got into the habit of waking up really early and seeing all the really touristy places without anybody there, which wasn't a bad idea, but I couldn't really wake up. Then we also climbed up the Campanile, which is this bell tower, and we got a pretty nice view as well. This is the Basilica San Marco, which was under construction, so I don't have a ton of good pictures, but when you got into the inside, oh my god, it's just all mosaics, and they're all tiny little, you know, pieces of glass. Most of them are gold, too, that's why it just 
shine so much. And then we also got to see these magnificent copper horses, which are very, very famous. They are said to have been built maybe in the 4th century BC, but other people think that maybe they're Roman. And until 1203, they were in Constantinople before coming to Venice, and then Napoleon took them to Paris in 1797, and then they were finally returned to Venice in 1815, and now they're in the Basilica. Then we left Venice, and on the way back to France, we stopped in Verona, which was full of tourists. Oh my goodness, they were just... Oh my god, I couldn't take it. But we just stopped there to visit Juliet's balcony. As you can see, it's kind of nice looking. And Verona actually has a lot of Roman ruins there as well. Notably this arena, which is still used for theater and music festivals, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, that was my trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed Venice. If you ever get a chance to go, you will not regret it. It really is magical, as I said. And thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. Leave me a comment below if you've ever been to Venice or Italy or any of the other places I mentioned. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully will be an Arizona one. <laughs> bon voyage!